welcome to the Sutton Brain Hub Rapid Review on the medial longitudinal fasciculus. Here is our midline, and this circle represents our superior colliculus. Input from the visual fields are received by the retina and visual cortex before entering the superior colliculus, which is one of a pair of information centres that can be macroscopically seen as bumps on the midbrain. The superior colliculus sends fibres across the midline to the paramedian pontine reticular formation, often shortened to PPRF, which is the control centre for horizontal gaze in the pons. Activity of a special type of neuron called excitatory burst neurons in the PPRF initiate the movement of the eyes between two fixed points in a horizontal direction. The speed of the eye during the horizontal saccade is determined by the PPRF. The PPRF sits conveniently adjacent to the nucleus of cranial nerve 6. It projects fibres to this nucleus which innervates the lateral rectus of the ipsilateral eye through the abducens nerve, cranial nerve 6. This is known as abduction of the eye, spelt abduction. This is where our medial longitudinal fasciculus comes in. We need to somehow make sure that when one eye is abducted, the other eye follows it by moving medially. This is called adduction, spelt adduction. Cranial nerve 3 is responsible for adduction of the eye, so we need to make sure that cranial nerve 6 and the contralateral cranial nerve 3 work perfectly in sync without any hesitation. The best way to do this is to connect their two control centres, their nuclei. The MLF is the structure that can be seen here in red achieving this. Therefore we can surmise that the medial longitudinal fasciculus, or MLF, is a set of neuronal fibres responsible for horizontal conjugate gaze. That is, both eyes looking in the same direction at the same time. Damage to the MLF causes a very characteristic set of symptoms that we group together and call internuclear ophthalmoplegia. When this happens, the eyes move independently on lateral gaze, as there is no longer a connection between the nerves 3 and 6. The eye on the same side of the lesion won't be able to adduct, and the one on the other side will display an astagmus as it tries to compensate for the lack of a second eye looking in that direction. Subscribe to Sultan Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.